Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will send a famine on the land. Not a famine for bread or a thirst for water, but rather for hearing the words of the Lord. So here in Amos, the, the Lord has said that his judgment would be a famine, a hunger and a thirst, and had said that the people would stagger from sea to sea, from the north even to the east, without result, without any satisfaction, right? Mm-hmm. They would go places, they'd go hither, thither, and yon, to and fro, seeking God's word, but would not find it. Let me ask you something. Where do you think they'd look? If you were looking for God's word, and you didn't, I mean, you didn't know God, but you wanted to hear God, where would you go? Are they going to go to church buildings? Are they Are going to turn on the television and look for Christian stations? Are they Are going to go on the radio and, and look for God's word? Are they Are going to go on the internet or Facebook? I mean, there's a zillion preachers on Facebook. There's a zillion teachers on Facebook. In spite of the fact that the Word of God cautions, let not many of you become teachers, for by this you incur a stricter judgment. Just because you have a pen doesn't mean that you're Shakespeare. That's okay. The problem is that they can go to all those places and not find God's Word. Mm-hmm. Why? Because we live in the time of the Church of Laodicea. The final picture of a church on earth before the great and terrible day of the Lord in the book of the Revelation of Jesus Christ, Revelation chapter 3, is the Church of Laodicea. Here's a church. I mean, talk about prosperous, talk about satisfied. They say, we are rich, we become wealthy, we have need of nothing. The only thing they lacked was Jesus, the Word, because He's outside. Mm-hmm. And they didn't even recognize that. So if you went into the church of Laodicea to see it, to hear the Word of God, you wouldn't hear it. Or you'd hear something. You'd probably hear a pithy, very uplifting message about how you can be more than, you know, what's the army thing? You can be, more, be all that you can be, mm-hmm. right? You'd hear some kind of great message. The music would probably be phenomenal. But it wouldn't be praised, and it certainly wouldn't be worshipped. People are hungry. There are people out there who are hungry for the Word of God, and they're struggling to find it. Lay it to see it. You know what it was? What they're going to find if they go to now to places like that? Too much. Now, I'm not saying everywhere. I am generalizing, but I'm generalizing accurately. Yes. Okay. They're going to find wolves in sheep's clothes. At, at best, they'll find brothers in error mm-hmm. who need correction. At worst, and most likely, they'll find wolves in sheep's clothing. They'll find people feeding on the flock rather than feeding the flock. But that judgment, not getting satisfied in this time of famine, right? Hunger and a thirst would not befall those who are obedient to him, the remnant, the righteous. Why? Recall the wonderful promise of Jesus Christ. How simple can it get? Jesus said in this wonderful sermon, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Thy word is strength. Thy word is power, your word is kind, and your word is true. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Thy word have I hid, O God, in my heart. Heart, that I might not sin against thee.